Reshma here. Today we are sharing FlexBuzz case study, the fastest, simplest method for any user to share claims data with your application. Recent regulatory changes require payers like Humana and Anthem to provide patient data access via Fire API. Flexba has created a toolkit that connects over 200 Fire servers to allow patients to share their data with app developers. Flexba normalizes and stores the data in a searchable MedPlum Fire data store. This implementation is remarkable for its breadth and ambition. Flexba CTO Josh will give us a walkthrough. Thank you, Flexba, for sharing your story today. So this is a demo application of Flexba, and it demonstrates the two components of Flexba. The first is Flexba Link, and the second is Flexba API. Flexba Link is the authorization flow. So a patient selects their health plan from this list, or they can you know, search for one. If I select Humana, I'm prompted with a consent screen. So this consent screen always reflects the specific application that I'm connecting. So our test app is called MyFlexBug. But if you were using this as Oak Street Health, for example, it would list that customer here. And then we disclose our own privacy policy, our own terms of service, as well as the terms of service and privacy policy of the application that you're connecting the data to. We have helpful text about what's going to happen next, how you actually complete this to make sure that a patient can get through it successfully. That opens the, the insurance portal. And this UI is different depending on the insurer. In the case of Humana, they have a nice authorization and consent form that I can review as a patient, and then I can make a decision about whether or not I'm going to allow this access. So this is two things. It's the US core profiles. Mm -hmm. So those are 13 fire resources. And then in addition to that, it also includes the coverage and explanation benefit resource. So what we see here now is at the end, I have a test application where I'm reading data, reading fire data from the Flexba API. And underneath that is the MedPlum Fire server. So I can view, view the data in a way that you, know, you might expect. So depending on the resource I'm viewing, there's different data available. But the thing that makes Flexba very useful in terms of why someone would use this as a customer is that if you want to go out and connect to all of the patient access APIs that exist, and there are hundreds of them, being able to do that and then access the data in a normalized way, even at the level of the API request, is very, very challenging and very difficult. So one of the problems that we solve is exposing all of the data in a single API and underneath a single capability statement with consistent search parameters, with consistent operations, and otherwise that's not possible. The other major problem we solve is actually extracting all of the data. The number of fire servers that support the patient everything operation, I think is fewer than 10 in a set of 200, very uncommon. And so we've had to develop an extraction process that you know, makes that fast and makes it easy. I refresh quickly here, you'll see that synchronization screen that appears. So when this is visible, we are exhaustively extracting from that source fire server every resource that we can, and then normalizing it and isolating it in a way that um, makes it usable later. We, so we take advantage of MedBlunt projects, for example. So that means you're going and searching for all allergy intolerance that belongs to Wellington O'Connor, for example, right? And then resource by resource queries, is that what you mean? Yes, we do that. But where we start is, does, uh, does this fire server support patient everything? If it does, great. That's where we start. The fallback is individual requests. So even if you go and do these searches, you search for allergy intolerance, you search for conditions you search for procedures, you actually have several other problems. The first is a really obvious one, which is reference resolution. 
So if there's a reference to an organization, for example, and you can't, usually you can't search organization in the context of a patient access API because the, that's not semantically useful. You can only search for resources that are patient compartmentalized in most patient access API fire implementations. So what you have to do is individually resolve all of the possible references for all of the responses that you get back for each of these searches. So we do that very quickly, but in a pretty complicated way. So every time that we get back a bundle in one of these searches, we parse all of the individual resources for all references. And we have to keep track of the references that we've already resolved versus those that are still undiscovered. So at the end of all of that, we happily load it into Meglum. And then you have a server that does all the reconciliation bundling and you upload the batch? Yeah, exactly. So at the end, we have an ETL. So we have an extract phase, a transform phase. And the transform phase, we solve problems like the collision of identifiers. So mm -hmm. we change all of the source identifiers into UID V5s deterministically. We deduplicate, we do other corrections. And we also do things like add tags or identifiers. So we identify references to the original resource. And then as a final step, we load into Medplum through a batch operation. Those can get quite large. So at the end, this demo shows off using the API. So at the end of the flexible link authorization, ultimately as a user, as a consumer of this, as an implementer, I do receive an access token. And that access token can be used to access the Flexba API is in effect, just a fire server. So the underlying implementation of this fire server is Medplum. And we support the operations that Medplum supports, including patient everything. So it's very typical for a provider use case, especially, at the end of that authorization flow, simply do uh, a call to patient everything. So hopefully that's a helpful overview.